What's the matter, Flyboy? A little bit of a surprise in the air shake you up? Shake me up? Not a chance. I just don't go for these unstable situations. You're telling me. And now Stern's ready to pack up and leave without our money. I don't know about you, but I don't do charity work. We may not be getting a check, but I'm sure we can find some suitable compensation. What's the deal, Commander? Those planes that jumped us looked like government mirages. Why are we being attacked by the people we're working for? There's been a major coup, Commander. A sizable rightist faction of the Mauritanian government has joined the rebels, and they don't want any outside interference, especially from us. So why don't we just take our money and leave them to their war? That's the problem. The isolationist groups have seized several key government properties, including the banks holding our escrow payment. We've got to cut our losses and leave before they come after us. So we bombed that base for nothing? And we wasted ordnance on that outpost too. I think leaving without our money is a bad idea, Stern. And letting them get away with this is an even worse one. We don't deal in revenge, Janet. Besides, we've still got the money from the escort mission. And nothing we could do would get that money back. We can't get it back, but we might be able to make a trade. All right, Commander. We're using your plan. Early this morning, Tex and I took out the ground defenses at a nearby base. Afterwards, Gwyn landed a C-130 carrying Janet and a team of commandos to collect our payment. Unfortunately, the local forces regrouped faster than we expected. Rebel fighters are on their way to intercept the transport. You and I are going to intercept them first. If we move fast, we should be able to catch their patrols just north of the runway. We'll bring them down and then rendezvous with Gwen at the enemy base and escort her home. Suit up. We leave immediately.